Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today is Monday, March 25th, 2019. And uh, it's actually Sunday afternoon, as you guys know. And if you guys don't know by now, I usually tend to <clears throat> film my episodes the day before. So that way I have time to edit, upload, and so on and so forth. So that way when you guys wake up in the morning, you guys have me right there to check out and uh, hang out with you guys in the morning and so on and so forth. So, um, right now I'm on my way to the store, per usual, as you guys see me do a lot. And as again, you know, if you guys see me walk down the street many times, um, it's usually a lot more cars, a lot more people, but as you guys can see, it's Sunday. Everyone's either out with the family, out doing stuff, um, whatever. So, that's why it's like, you can hear a pin drop. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Alright, well, today's episode is literally going to be what the title said it was going to be. The truth about living out here in Mexico. And it's not just living out here in Mexico. Just living abroad. And what it means to be living abroad. That's it. Um, so that's what we're going to be focusing on today and talking about today. Last night, um, by the way, I'm on my way to the store right now. Um, but later on in a few hours, I'm going to do the live stream for you guys. The Mexico live stream, and I hope it goes well. Get a, get a good feeling it's going to go well. You guys will let me know if it did or not. But yeah, look, usually there's so many people on this street. And by the way, there was an accident here. There was an accident here um, a couple days ago when I was walking. Like literally, you see this car right there? Just, just jumping in. So that's the thing about, you know, uh, one of the things about Mexico is that, you know, like um, how people drive kind of crazy out here, just like if you've been to Asia or other parts of the world. By the way, I'm just going to keep my camera on me until we get to the pretty part. Once we get to the pretty part, I'll focus the camera on the pretty things instead of my face. So, all right, what are we going to be talking about um, when it comes to living abroad? Now, the reason I brought, I mean, I, I was thinking about talking about this today for a little while now. And um, as I was getting ready to get the hell out of the house and do what I have to do, um, I was listening to some music. I was listening actually to The Offspring, The Kids Aren't Alright. I don't know if you guys remember that song. And then Pantera, uh, Walk, came out. Both of those songs. I was listening to more music, but uh, yeah, like uh, so I was listening to those two. And like, it was just like a quick reminder as to not only to focus on what I was gonna talk about today on today's episode as to why I moved here, why we choose to move out here, why, you know, why this whole movement is happening, why all this is happening, um, and so on and so forth. And the reason I'm choosing to talk about this is because just like I get like a bunch of, um, you know, comments from you guys saying how awesome, you know, like how you love these videos, how you love me showing you guys around Merida, Mexico, and so on and so forth. I also, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm also getting some comments out there um, from some locals, <laughs> you know, that are not happy, you know, they're not very happy about certain things, and that's all normal, you know what I mean, that's, that's just normal, that's like a normal thing, no matter where you're from, where you go, and stuff like that, um, I've traveled a lot, and uh, there's always a gr giant group of locals that love it, and, uh, you know, love the... Um, expats and love uh, tourists and some that don't and again i come from miami you know miami is a uh, tourist heavy you know what i mean so we we love our tourists and we hate our tourists so yeah and that comes from a place that really loves their, their the tourists but you know as much as we hate them we always got to remind ourselves wait a minute wait a minute you know these guys are the ones that are helping us pay the bills so we can't hate too much but the, the 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 actual reason as to I'm getting a little flack here and there, which again is not going to deter me from making these videos, is literally the fact that um, you know I'm just I guess in a way telling people to come out here and move out here and be out here and be part of all this. Gracias. Um, so you know as um, you know, you know, when I make these videos, you know, like a lot of times I focus on me living here, being this place being so awesome and so amazing and shit like that. And we're going to um, dissect that a little bit more. <laughs> and we walk in the street and we're going to talk about that a little more and focus that about that a little more as to why that is, why I, I talk so heavily 
you know how awesome this place is and the, the reality is is because this is the first time I've ever lived abroad even though I've traveled a lot and been a lot of places and lived in a lot of places I've never really traveled uh, lived abroad and um, once like being out here and living out here you know as an American I realized like holy shit this place is more free more awesome more whatever but after living out here I also realized oh wait a minute you know there are some things that are not like home there are some things that aren't perfect there are some things that could be improved or what have you and so on and so forth and then you know you see the differences between where you're from um, right where you are there's a lot of benefits a lot of things that are not benefits and so on and so forth so far it's mostly benefits but <laughs> but I'm just speaking the reality of it and a lot of times you know it gets a little lost too there's a lot of people out today hell yeah all right cool you know what I'm gonna strap you guys to my head so I can continue this conversation all right guys I'm gonna make sure I look okay and sexy for all you guys all right, let's get this going. So, a lot of times when I'm talking about moving out here, living out here, being out here, and all that good stuff, I'm really just like encouraging you guys to live anywhere you want to live. You know, sometimes it's uh, Vietnam, sometimes it's Thailand, sometimes it's um, literally anywhere on earth. Just as you guys watch my videos and enjoy these videos a lot, I also love, you know, to watch other videos of other parts of the world. And um, as much as uh, this place is like awesome and I love it here and I want to be here, <laughs> um, you know, I look at other videos from other parts of the world and I'm like, fuck, I want to go visit India. I want to go visit... Um, um, Thailand. I want to go visit China. I want to go visit Russia. I want to go visit a lot of the world. I'm gonna go visit Cuba soon and so on and so forth and um, You know for us is all all of us have a little bit of a different um, Reason as to why we want to do these things Why we want to live abroad let me see if I can go on this way A little less traffic. There's more traffic on here on the I feel like there's less traffic out here. So, um, see, look, this is all part of the, you know, awesomeness, you know, like um, of the community. It's bike riding Sunday, to Sunday afternoon. Everyone on their bikes, all the families, all that good stuff. So yeah, like I was saying. Um, you know, when I watch videos, you know, people like that are also expats living in all parts of the world, you know, the, one of the main reasons, you know, one of the main things I realize is that, you know, a lot of us expats, you know, it's not, you know, sure, we love to travel, we love culture, we love art, we love a lot of these freaking things. But the reality is, you know, a lot of times it's like we're leaving our own country for a reason. You know, why the fuck are we leaving our countries? You know what I mean? Like, why are we leaving the greatest country in the world? You know, whether it's somewhere in Europe or whether it's the U.S., or whatever it is you know why is that why is that like a thing and um it shouldn't be like that right i mean why if we come from the greatest place on earth why would that be a thing and the reality is is because you know a lot of us that come from these first world countries you know we're sold this lie and once some of us wake up from that we realize wait a minute you know what i mean like sure we have all this awesomeness around us but we don't have freedom and then that's when we start you know becoming very very antsy and we start leaving and uh traveling abroad and eventually living abroad and so on and so forth and it's really a lot of us again there's a lot of reasons as to why we do this but it's mainly chasing something for me i was chasing freedom more than anything else and um once i come out here i realize there's freedom here sure i might travel to certain places and i'll realize that there's more freedom in other places and there's less freedom in other places but so far you know this place definitely beats the ussa by a lot by the way I, I gotta start working out again or going doing a little more exercise I can feel myself like a little out of it <laughs> like a little a little breathing heavy haven't left the house in a few days been fucking busy busy working as a like an animal so you know another one of these things that uh 
you know, I'm glad I brought that up, you know, um, kind of like a segue, because a lot of people, a lot of us, you know, we want to like live abroad, move abroad and stuff like that. But, you know, unless you got like some sort of income or you have money from mommy and daddy or you're retired or some st something like that, you know, a lot of these things seem very, very unattainable as to like why, um, you know, how, how, how is this even possible? How would I even be allowed or not allowed, but how would I even accomplish, you know, the whole um, idea of living abroad and, and being abroad and being elsewhere and so on and so forth. You know, for me, I, I, the reason that, again, I'll give you my story as to why I'm out here and how I came out here. You know, again, I was just living in the States, living the, the American dream, living in the, in the U.S. Like, you know, it's all good living in California, Los Angeles. And, uh, and, and, a, and like life happened. And what do I mean by life happened? Well, I was living with some people. They needed a, they wanted to move back uh, to fucking Alabama. They couldn't hack it in Los Angeles no more. All of a sudden, I didn't have a place to live. I had to find a place to live. Everywhere, you know, um, everywhere the most uh, affordable place, I had to come up with like three or four grand, which was impossible, as you guys know. Who the hell can come up with three or four grand like that um, on, the, on, a, on a, you know, like in a week or two, no matter how hard you work. So when, when I was faced with that reality, I was faced with a few options, either A, move out to the buffuck Egypt in the middle of nowhere, somewhere in the middle of the country with no job, no opportunity, no nothing, but at least I'll kind of be able to afford it. Or, you know, my other options were to live out of my car, you know, be a bum, you know, live on the street like a lot of people do in the US right now, by no fault or choice of their own. Um, or my third option was, you know what? Fuck it. Just pick up what you have. You don't have much anyway. Pack it up, sell whatever you can't take with you, and like leave the country and move abroad. And um, that's what I did. And I came out here with literally nothing. Literally. And um, a lot of you guys out there helped me. Um, I got a lot of help from you know, um, you know, uh, friends, family, um, support. You know, all kinds of shit. But you know the reality is it's just um making that choice making that decision and um i'm really glad i didn't i'm really really glad that i finally made that choice and decision to come out here and do this and now that i'm out here and doing this i realize it's like well wait a minute you know this you know living out here and just starting over here was you know the equivalent of like if i would have picked um, you know almost any other part of the world or any other part of the country and then that's why you know i really start making these videos and talking about a lot of these stu this stuff it's just because a lot of you guys out there feel like you're stuck you're stuck you know and um there's no reason to feel that way there are there are options and this is one of those options you know just uh coming out here now the reason I chose Merida, literally, I put my finger on a map and I picked this place out. And it just so happened to be one of the cheapest places to live in the world. There's a lot of places like this. Again, it's all depending on what you want, your culture, um, you know, what you want to be exposed to and all that good stuff. I came out here because it was a lot easier for me since I speak Spanish. I'm in the, a part of the Caribbean. You know, there's a lot of things that were in my favor. But I don't know who you are out there watching this. You know, I don't know your background. Maybe, you know, it's a lot easier to move to Thailand. Or Vietnam or I don't know pick a country and um, that's the thing you know what I mean that's the thing it's just about literally making these choices you know make, asking yourselves these questions you know why you know why do I have to leave why do I want to move why do I you know what I mean what are my choices is it doable um, how am I gonna survive all this stuff and once you answer these basic questions you'll realize that yeah you could definitely do it you know, not only can you do it, but anyone can do it. And, uh, you know, that's, that's why you see a lot of the media and a lot of things focus on the fact that like, oh, don't live abroad, don't do this, don't do that. Because they're just, again, it's all scare tactics. And, um, you know, just, just like the whole thing with the Mexican wall, for example. You know, it's gonna get to the point where Mexico, you know, might be wanting to build that wall to keep, you know, certain immigrants out, not the other way around. And that's just the reality of these things. So, as you, 
you guys can see, you know, every community, no matter where you live, you know, there's a lot of parts of the U.S., a lot of parts of the world that have this awesomeness or something very similar to this. Um, I don't hate on the U.S. I don't hate on anything. I love, I love humanity. I love everything, you know. Um, I'm just realistic. And, um, you know, I don't want people to look at my videos or see my content or anything like that and um, be thinking that, you know, hey, come move out here, come live out here, this is the only place on earth, you know, so on and so forth, all that crap, when it's not the case, you know what I mean? It's not the case at all. To me, again, just to reiterate as to why I talk about these things, it's just, you know, to give that little, little nudge, a little extra push to anyone out there that wants to make that move, that needs to make that move. They can't, you know, they can't um, stand the situation they're in anymore and they see themselves as stuck and now this is a way to really be able to, you know what I mean? To really be able to become free again. Because when it comes down to it, guys, you know, one of the, one of the Gary V-isms that I like to bring up and talk to you guys a lot about is the fact that why stay <clears throat> doing what you're doing? Why starve doing what you're doing when you can starve doing what you love? So it's like, again, that's a choice that I made. It's like, why am I going to fucking starve and, and fucking live in the pure hell, living in some shit little fucking city, country, uh, not city, that like shit little uh, place, working a shit job, barely making, you know, enough money to survive and pay my bills when I can literally be out here in paradise doing the same exact thing, you know what I mean? Like, again, just barely surviving, but every single fucking day is an adventure. Every single day is fun. Every single day I'm taking the life by, you know, life by the by the balls, by the by the horns, by whatever, and, and really like, uh, you know, maximizing every single second of my life, of my day, of my everything. And um, again, I was just living in LA and I love LA. I talk about LA all the freaking time. But a good majority of my day was, um, was dedicated to me being out there and working making money in order to just pay these bills and then still i would have you know of the rest of my day in order to do all the things that i'm doing now and 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 again it was only i was only based off a few hours of sleep a day but i was living my dream doing my dream then when all that was kind of like taken away i was like well okay you know what do i want to do keep working a job or keep doing the, the dream stuff that i'm doing so that's why i made the decision to come out here again Mexico just happened to be the easiest spot for me, but um, you know, there's parts, you know, all over the world that we can all check out and you can all check out. And um, like I said, it's a huge, huge world out there. And uh, as the technology in every aspect gets better and better and better, and you know, the world keeps, keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So, all right, guys. Well, with that being said, um, I, I, like I said, like I've been saying a million times before, I love Merida, I love Mexico, I love living out here, I love everything about everything that I'm doing, and um, most importantly than anything else, I love the fact that I get, to, I get to bring all this to you guys, and not just bring it to you guys, but you know, I got a feeling that this is not going to be the first stop of my ginormous journey and adventure, and that you guys are going to be following me around for a very long time as we, again, explore the rest of the world, all right? So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for joining me last night. Thank you guys for joining me here every single day. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Um, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please do all that good stuff that all other YouTubers are begging you guys to do. And um, more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. Enjoy your week. Have a happy Monday. And um, guys, I'm telling you, we can all do and per we can all pursue our dreams okay it's really just up to you and whether you want to do it okay the first step is always the hardest okay and that's why you know i make this content because again i'm here to at least get you to get that first step going all right guys i love you and i'll see you guys manana thanks again for joining me as usual i love you guys